TechLine Coatings, a leader in thin film coatings for high performance applications, presents Liquid Powder for powder coating. Liquid Powder is a liquid that you add your powder to and apply with standard paint equipment. You then allow it to dry and then cure as you would any powder coating. TechLine Coatings has recognized that powder coating is a popular method of protecting and enhancing the appearance of a part. Because it is a very green technology, the use of this technology is expanding. Part of this green technology is the way powder coating is applied using an electrostatic process. While the electrostatic application of the powder coating is very efficient, it does have some limitations. As a result, there are some situations where the use of powder coating is difficult, if not impossible. For example, what happens very often is that a large part will be sent out to be powder coated then after it is brought back after coating and is looking beautiful someone says oops we forgot to put an important part on the coated assembly there is no choice the part has to be welded on and the beautiful powder coating is going to be damaged not only that the part has been installed and cannot be removed to have it recoated again until now, this meant that the only choice would be to hope to match the powder coating with a spray can and use that to recoat the part after the modifications have been made. This works, but it is sometimes very hard to match the color. Also, the paint does not always have the same properties of the powder coating of corrosion and abrasion resistance. Now you have a better choice. With TechLine Coatings Liquid Powder, you can have all the properties and color match of the original powder coating because it is the original powder coating applied as a VOC free water based coating. As it is now a water based liquid it can be applied in a number of ways. One of these is a detail spray gun. The process is simple. The part must be completely clean and free of oils, grease, corrosion and other debris. Etching can be done with a sandblaster if available. However, sanding the part with coarse sandpaper will achieve the proper surface etch. To prepare the coating, first, using a food type blender that is not used for food, and a scale, put a measured amount of the liquid powder into the blender jar. Then add the same weight of the powder coating into the blender. These amounts may vary depending on the powder coating being used. Set the blender on one of the low speed settings and run until the powder coating is thoroughly mixed. Do not allow the mixture to get hot as this will affect the powder coating. The coating is now ready to be applied. Pour the coating into the spray gun. You want to apply the coating as a wet coat, building up the thickness until you have an even wet coating. It is recommended to spray in the hard to reach areas first and work your way out into the areas that are easier to access. As a liquid coating, you can spray into areas that would not be possible with the electrostatic process, such as down a hole. When you have enough coating on your part, allow the water in the coating to fully dry out. This will take between 30 minutes and 2 hours depending upon the temperature and humidity and how much coating was applied. After it has dried, you can easily wipe off any overspray with your finger or a damp towel. Also, unlike the electrostatic process, the coating will not fall off if the part is suddenly shaken or bumped. So with practice, you can even gently smooth out runs or sags. If you spot an area you missed or it is too lightly coated, you can spray on more to cover it at this time. Then allow it to dry. The coating will now need to be cured. This can be done in a number of ways, including an industrial oven. However, it is not always possible to put the part into an oven, especially if there are other parts attached that cannot be baked in an oven. With liquid powder, you can use a hot air gun to heat the coating to its cure temperature. This allows the coating to be cured in place on the car. The cure temperature and time will depend on the powder coating used. Most powder coatings will cure in about 15 minutes at temperature. Applying the mixed coating can 
be done in a number of ways. It can be done with a paintbrush or even a toothpick for very small repairs. Decline Coating's liquid powder allows you to powder coat other things as well, including wood, fiberglass, glass, ceramics, some plastics, and many other materials that cannot be used with the electrostatic process. Now you can have the durability and color match of the original powder coating. It can be in a repair or even a new application. You can do multiple coats of powder coating or even change the color of a powder coated part without having to strip the good original coating. All this using TechLine Coatings Liquid Powder.